Hello and welcome to today's Dwelling in the Word. Today we want to jump right in where we were yesterday in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And we're going to look specifically today at verse 13. Hear the Word of God. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. These words may be so familiar to us that we do not actually hear the sheer force of this incredibly powerful truth. These three remain, and the greatest of these is love. There are so many statements in Scripture that make it abundantly clear that faith is of utmost importance. We are saved by grace through faith, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world, 1 John 5 verse 4. Jesus once said, truly I tell you that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. The righteous will live by faith. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. Or how about this? Without faith, it is impossible, impossible to please God. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But here the Apostle Paul informs us that as great as faith is, love is greater still. Love is greater than faith. And this truth does not in any way nullify or diminish the significance of faith. Faith matters. Faith is not displaced or set aside by love. Faith remains alongside of both hope and love. And By the way, who can imagine living life without hope? Hope rises up out of our faith in the God for whom all things are possible. Hope is what sustains us and compels us to go on in the face of absolutely anything that might otherwise deter or defeat us. Hope along with faith is essential to our lives. We cannot live without either of them. And this is the point of this statement that Paul gives us in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. Faith and hope both are great indeed, but the greatest of these three is love. So even as you ponder the wonder of the glory of the good news of Jesus Christ our Lord today and every day, remember the words of Christ himself who told us that the greatest command, the most important one, is to love. And the second most important command is to love even more. Love God with all that you are all of your strength, mind, soul, and heart, and love others as you love yourself. And then Christ our Lord gave us a new command to love one another as he has loved us. Not as we love ourselves, but as he has loved us. So hear it one more time and let it sink in. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So get out there and love others as Jesus himself has loved you.